everyone. Welcome to Free Henley Made AU My Autistic Life. My name's Nisi, and this is my little channel. All right, so I got so excited. I was on a live yesterday, and I will, I can't remember the name of the channel off the top of my head right now, but I will include it in the description of this video. Um, they brought uh, attention to an app that teaches you crochet stitches but that's not what this video is about what this video is about is the fact that there are crocheting apps I had no idea so while I was looking up the crochet stitch app that teaches you about different stitches and crochet I ran across another app that I actually tried last night and I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to share it with you. All right. So hold on tight. Anyone else fight with their, their little phone tripod? It's a, the one I have is supposed to be like a super good one, but I am not impressed. Okay. I will be shopping. All right. So here is my, um, Google store, my, my Google play store. And I come in here and it just says, um, you guys can't even see that, can you? Look, look how blurry that is. There we go. I'm searching crochet apps. That's what I typed in last night. All right, and the first one that pop, the, the one that got me interested is this one. Row counter knitting and crochet lines count. All right, let me... Zoom back out. All right. I'm trying to hold my phone and record this because my tripod is not working. And I don't know why my phone is not focusing. It is now. So weird. All right. Open. All right. So as you can tell, I've already started one project. My sugar and cream bobble. Um, I uploaded my pattern. And I'm on row seven. And every time I get done with the row, I just click this plus mark. The cool thing is, if you get the paid version of this app, you can highlight parts of your um, pattern. Um, and then here, this is available on the free version. You can make notes. You can draw on the pattern. You can write notes on your pattern. That's what this is for. Okay. Um this is the microphone and you can record and make um, verbal notes on your pattern this is for your settings this hourglass you can use that to time yourself which i don't know why anyone would want to time themselves um, and then they have this section for tools and this tool section is really cool it has a glossary um, swatch adapter pattern creator, uh, unit converter, and then it has a yarn converter, and it even has a dispute, dis, 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 distribute your increase and your decrease tool, and then needle size and wool size. So I have some really cool tools that you can use. I don't know how many of these you can use on the free version. I have not tried them. me back out it also has down here the sorry the community a community tab that you can click on and all you have to do to join the community is activate which I'll do that at, at another time and then it also has RC patterns so you can set you can set that up isn't this cool you guys this thing is so cool and then um, also at the bottom is where you see my projects you click on that it brings you back to your projects all right I want to show you how I did this okay if I can get my phone to work. All right, so down here is where you add a new project. So you add a new project. 
and then I'm going to click on crochet. I'm going to click up here. You can't see your cursor, by the way, because the cursor is like a blue. All right, hopefully you guys can see that. So I'm going to type in what I'm going to name my, my project that I'm literally getting ready to start this today. And it's Z's Teddy Bear. All right, and then I'm going to click OK. Now, you can import directly from Rivalry right here. And so when I get ready to do David's shawl pattern, that's exactly what I'll do. I will upload his pattern that I got directly from the Rivalry page. But this is a really cool feature. But this one is not on Rivalry. Um, I actually have it in my device. Okay, so this is where you click to import your pattern. And look at all these choices you guys have to pull up your pattern. Look at all this. Look, you've got Hobby, you've got Lovecraft, you've got Lion Brand, you've got Knit Picks, Drops Design, Webs, Hobby Crafts, um, Zerdar, Wool and the Gang, all free knitting, willow yarns, burco, yarn inspirations, and then of course other. And you can go to other to browse, or you can go to internet to browse. You can click search rivalry. You can go and make your own rivalry library and pull it up from there. Then you also have Dropbox, Google Drive. You can actually download the photo with your camera and then your device. I'm going to your device. And mine is right here. This is from the, uh, click on it and open. And it pulls it right up for me. And there's an advertisement. We're going to click out of that. And there is my pattern that I purchased from uh, the Paw Ply Yarn Company from Daniel. Now, what's cool about this is right here is where you turn the page. See that little arrow? Well, maybe not. <laughs> I did this, and guess what? Now I'm having a hard time with it. Let me go back. How do I get to the second page? Interesting. All right, guys, hold on tight. I'm going to have to probably save the second page of this pattern separately because it's not letting me bring up the second page. And this pattern has more than one page. So hold work. It just took it a while for it to pull up the whole entire pattern. So here it is, <clears throat> and um, you can click here, and you can bring it up so you can actually read it better for us people that are practically blind. Um, and the only thing is, is it's hard to scroll up and down. So this is part of the app that I don't care for. Um, it's, it's hard to scroll. You can't scroll up and down. So right now it's on the first, it's on the second page. And I don't, I, I, I would be messing with it to get to this, to get it to the, the rest of the pages. So um, what I might do to make this easier on myself is the cool thing about this is you can, um, click on this button right here and um, I can delete this and what I'm going to do is um, yes I'm going to delete it. what I'm going to do is I'm going you can add more than one file so um, I can print out my pattern and then take a picture of each page and upload each page this way by choosing um, 
why is this such being such a pain in the butt? Okay, let me go back to my projects. All right, open this up. Import, add file. Um, here we go, and then click on photo, and I can add it from gallery. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, just because um, I'm having such a hard time um, with the pattern because it's more than one page. This app is um, not user friendly when your pattern has more than one page, just so you guys know. Um, so that's good to know. That's, that's one nice thing about these reviews is you get to learn all this stuff, right? So, um, but all in all, I do like this a lot because it helped me keep up with, let me go back to my projects. It helped me keep up with my rows because I lose count of my rows and they're like, oh, well, then just count your rows. Well, I'm a new beginner crocheter and I'm still, it's very difficult for me to figure out how to count my rows. What's a row? What's not a row? When does a row begin? When does a row end? It's very difficult for me. And can you imagine trying to count rows with this kind of yarn? <laughs> yeah, good luck. So um, I do love this feature. Um, I don't pay for anything. I just don't have the money to just pay for everything that I come across. So I will use the free version. But yeah, this is my review of the Crochet Counter app. Um, I believe they have this app for... Um, yeah, I believe they have this app for the iPhone as well. Um, I have an Android. And another cool thing about this app is you can sign up and, as an account and have it protected with a password. And then once you do that, you can use this app on your phone or your Chromebook, laptop, any device that supports apps. You can log in from anywhere. And I like that feature. So... That is the Crochet Counter app, and um, I hope some of you guys will try it out. And let me know what you think, okay? That's all I have for you today. We'll talk to you guys later. Love you all. Always remember, dare to be you, dare to be different. I gotta get started on this teddy bear. Love from Montana. Bye.